Well, you know, guys, it would definitely be cool if, you know, in a world, you know, everything was fair. That these women were not judged by, you know, what they look like instead of how they fight. It'd be nice. But, you know, we, we live in a society where everybody looking at things cosmetically. Where they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I want y'all to behold Sarah Kaufman. The beauty of a fighter that she really is. Stay tuned. I'm gonna explain this. Forget what you think, cause this is my channel. Forget about your feelings, cause the truth is hard to handle. Pot, corn, pot, corn, pot, tart, fart. Leave a racist comment and you will get blocked. Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. The way that is. Yeah. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, you know, I really felt compelled to make this video. Um, you know, I, I started researching Sarah Kaufman, you know, last night after her victory at, um, at uh, Invicta 27. I started researching her. I didn't go to bed like I said I was. I just, I don't know, I just wanted to stay up late and just really look at as many Sarah Kaufman fights as I could and really dig really deep into looking at what this woman has done in, in her career you know and it started with this it started with her resume but then i started looking at fights i started breaking down footage like you know how does sarah do versus southpaws you know what does sarah do against tall people what does she do against small people well, i was up all night you know and you know what sarah kaufman i don't know why she was released from the ufc i have no idea but i tell you what she should have never been released okay Sarah Kaufman should have never been released from the UFC and it just kind of pretty much shows you the direction like the UFC is going you know and a lot of good fighters you know to me and the women with the women they, they've been mistreated because they're not the model type they don't look a certain way you know and you know Sarah Kaufman is one of them you know she's you're not gonna find a lot of ads I couldn't find any you know where you know she just taking her clothes off I mean I wasn't looking for those ads but I was looking for photographs to you know looking at videos and photographs of Sarah just training I don't I don't I didn't see any of those pop up I didn't see them I ain't see them pop up that's because she's focused on fighting okay she's focused on fighting and I'm gonna tell y'all real talk anybody that can defeat the Jackson Winkle John curse and still win god you are ranked high in my book and I might even have Sarah Kaufman in, in my all-time top five like for real I think I might man because I'm looking at her resume she got a good resume I mean, guys, that, that's got to go for something, man. If you can survive the Winkle John curse, if you can survive the Jackson Wink curse, you you definitely, hey, you are a strong person. You are a strong person to survive that crap. Um, and she made it. You know, Sarah Kaufman, when she started her MMA career, you know, as a professional, she hit the ground running. She don't have many fights where you could consider that these were bums. Not even, man. Not even. You know, the thing of it is, man, fighters like Sarah Kaufman, they're never going to get their just due either, man, because they're not they are not trying to be like the status quo, man. These are throwback fighters. They, they're in there to fight, man. They're not in there, man, to, you know, uh, wear bikinis and make people, you know, lust after them. They, that's not what they're there for. Sarah Kaufman want to get in there and she want to bang. She want to mix it up. Okay? It's, it's the fight game to her. You know, she's not, you know, Sarah, Mike Skills, they're okay, but she, not, she don't focus on that stuff, man. This is one of the fighters I can say she's purely a fighter. But you look at some of these people, man, that she got on her resume. This ain't been a walk in the park, man. But you got so many fighters, man, in the UFC now who you, you still scratching your head. Why are they still there? Why are they still there? Like Katie Kern, Kaylin Kern. Why is she still there? You know? <laughs> Paige Van Zandt. Yeah, you can say, well, Paige really hadn't lost that many times. But what is Paige doing? What is she doing? What is Holly doing? Okay, Hollywood four losses in the last five, but she walk on streets of gold, and you know it's that look as if you know will people pay to watch you? Will people pay to look at you? That that's what the UFC is gonna become. Will people actually pay to watch you fight? I mean, if that's the case, you know why don't they start promoting and put them in lingerie? It's crazy, man. But you know somebody probably in the UFC boardroom, they probably sitting in a meeting and they would say something stupid like that too. You know, man, we ought to have a women's lingerie match. Yeah, dude, let's do that. Yeah. Man, if I was, I'd be like, man, shut up. I'd be like, shut up, man. But I bet you some simp in the UFC probably said something dumb like that. But, folks, Sarah Kaufman ain't no lingerie fighter. Sarah Kaufman ain't no model. She's not a model. Sarah Kaufman is legit. 
I mean, you look at her resume, dog. You know, her first fight in, man, with the lift, uh, with Elizabeth Posner, man, that was a tough fight. Then she went, what, fought Alexis Davis early in her career, Valerie Letourneau, okay? Then uh, Marquez, Janelle Marquez was tough, man. She knocked her out. I mean, dude, she got so many people on this resume that you could easily argue that why she out of the UFC. I mean, she got, <laughs> God, dog. She knocked out Roxanne Mata Fair. Y'all remember that fight, man? She body slammed Moxie and Roxanne Mata Fair. Well, it was almost like a version of the belly to belly. Knocked out, man. Knocked Roxanne out. Yubashita. You know, she lost to what? Conan? I mean, that's a tough fight. She fought Leslie Smith. Then fought Alexis Davis twice. Jesse Rose Clark. All of these are tough fights, man. Ronda Rousey, Liz Carmooch, man. This this woman, she got a Hall of Fame resume. And I'm looking at this and I'm like. Sarah Kaufman got to be in my all-time top five. This is crazy. But she's not there because, you know, that simp, that UFC simp. I call these guys UFC simps that they just want to watch, man. They want to see what they can see. You know, they're hoping that something fall out so they can get their little cameras out and take a picture. See, Sarah Kaufman is not going to entertain that crowd. See, it, it's not going to work. But she should have never been let go. And me personally, I don't even think Cindy Dandois should have been let go. Like the UFC, these fighters, these 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 uh, trailblazer fighters, they've done a terrible job with them. They've done a really bad job with these MMA trailblazers. I, it's like they they mistreat these women on purpose. But see, then too, these are the women that's more than likely they're not going to sit back and just let you say or do whatever. They're not going to take everything. They're, they're going to like come in and tell you the truth. They're going to keep it unfiltered. Every you know all the trailblazers I've interviewed. They're, they're 100% unfiltered. They don't take no mess from nobody, man. They tell it like it is. People like Tanya Evanger, they tell it like it is. I mean, hey man, please, had Tanya Evanger never fought Chris Cyborg, she'd have never got in. She'd have never got into the UFC, man. But that's how they do these women. I wonder what Sarah Kaufman gonna have to do to get back in. Like, is Sarah Kaufman gonna have to beg, borrow, steal to get back into the UFC? And this is no disrespect to Invicta. It's not. It's no disrespect. But Sarah Kaufman is three. <laughs> Look, man, she three stages ahead of where the talent in Invicta is. She too good. Sarah Kaufman is too damn good for that organization. Not meaning that she too good, like she, she shouldn't appreciate the opportunity. No, but she's too good for the talent level that's there. She's not going to have a suitable challenge. Sarah Kaufman going to walk in Invicta and take that belt. And anybody in her way, she's going to beat them. That's what's going to happen. Sarah Kaufman is going to, uh, she's going to walk through and get that belt. They better watch out. That Bantamweight in the Bantamweight division, that's Sarah Kaufman's. She's going to own that. And when she get the belt, then I wonder what the excuse is going to be there for the UFC. You know, Sarah Kaufman can't do it at the highest level. Yeah, she has. She's been doing it at the highest level for her whole career. Okay? She's been doing it at the highest level for her whole got doggone career. But we'll see. We'll see how this all play out. We'll see how it works, man, because, you know, if Holly Holm, she get title shot out the title shot, can't win a fight. And that's just real. It's the truth. Okay? You got Paige Van Zandt. We, we, we don't know, man, if she's going to be a lingerie model. Uh, we don't know if she's going to fight. We have no idea. They still there. They let Angela Magana stay for so long. Angie Overkill Hill, she still there. Kaylin Curran, they still there. Like, what, what man? What, what's going on? I mean, do the UFC really want to be known as a lingerie ad? Or do they actually want to be known as the best fighting organization in the country? They do that for the men. The men, yeah, you know they fighting. Because people just want to see men beat each other up. But for some reason, people don't really like seeing women beat each other up, you know. But they're athletes, man. They're professional athletes, and they do it at the highest level. And that, well, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.